What do you take out of Saturday's game going towards uh, the New Zealand match? Well, we've got to take some confidence, Jim. We, we scored, I think it was five tries in the end and, and 41 points, and, and we put in a, a good performance. And uh, We need to look at uh, some of the negative stuff as well. We're letting a, a couple of soft tries, you know, and if you turn up with that against New Zealand this weekend, that'll be very tough going. So we'll need to be absolutely 100% uh, to give ourselves any chance of winning the game because New Zealand are the number one team in the world for a reason and they've proven that over, over a number of years. But saying that, we're extremely looking forward to the game and we've got another good couple of days training uh, and we've got a good rest day tomorrow so we always need to rest up and then get ready to uh, rock and roll. How pleased were you that uh, the team came back from an early setback? I mean, the, you know, Argentina scored first but, but Scotland seemed to get right back on the front foot. Definitely, I think if you, if you looked at the game, it, that was against the run of play. It was, uh, but they, they just scooted away up the, up the pitch here and then got a runaway try. But boys were fine, they were like, you know, everything we've done is good up to this point, let's just get back down the field and, and do it again. And all credit to the boys that were out there, we've done exactly that. Uh, we got back even very quickly and then we just never looked back from there. So you're a fan at, at, at Murrayfield or BT Murrayfield on, on Saturday. You've got the world's best team there, you've got Scotland there after a, a good win. What areas of the park should fans look at to see where the game's going to be won? Well, as always in big rugby games, I think the, the collision area, the, the tackle and the tackle contest, that's where you've got to be looking to see to see the big hits. And you know, Hopefully it'll be a half decent night as well, we can throw the ball around and, and get some, uh, some of our attacking players into some open space as well. Is there a danger that, that, that both teams could go into that game thinking they'll throw the ball around? And, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It could turn into a, you know, maybe a great spectacle, but maybe perhaps a game that's difficult to control. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, we're definitely not going out to be the barbarians. That's, that's, you're playing a dangerous game if you're trying to try and do that against New Zealand um, because they're right up there and that, that suits them. So we need to just try and play as much as we can on our terms. And, you know, we're definitely not going to be able to do that for, for the whole match. Of course, they've got a lot of times where they've got to have their tails up, we've got to need to dig in, you know, show, show real guts, real determination, real pride in our, our defensive line. That, that's what it's got to be all about. It's, you know, all hands to the, all hands to the deck.